Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Arduino Starter Kit. So I plan to start doing videos about the Arduino and decided the easiest way to jump in was simply to go to my local micro center and pick up a full starter kit with a number of uh, beginning projects so that I can learn how the platform works so that I can do more complicated projects later. So I picked up this starter kit for about $85 and it has everything in there supposedly to do 15 individual projects in order to become comfortable with the Arduino platform. So they have get to know your tools as a project, spaceship interface, design the control panel for your starship, love meter color mixing lamp, mood, mood cue, light thermon, create a musical instrument you play by waving your hands, keyboard instrument, digital hourglass, motorized pinwheel, zootrope, create a mechanical animation you can play forward or reverse, crystal ball, knock lock, touchy-feely lamp, tweak the logo, hacking buttons. So all of those projects supposedly you can do from this box with no additional equipment. Now, although I'm here to talk about the Arduino starter kit, I do need to talk about the sponsors because they're the ones that pay the bills and help things like Silicon Discourse uh, stay alive. So we have Geist. Geist builds and delivers rack PDUs ultra quick in as few as five days for standard units. Made in America. Hashtag sexy PDUs. GeistGlobal.com. Veeam. Free backup for PCs, VMs, and Linux. All at Veeam.com. Dev Mountain is a 12-week web development, iOS, and UX design boot camp intended to get a full-time job in the industry. Learn to code at DevMountain.com. INE specializes in network training with hands-on labs on bootcamps and focus on delivering the best in online networking courses at ine.com plixer with recruit scrutinizer and flow data users can determine what traffic is on their who is originating traffic and who is receiving it at plixer.com finally gilward data recovery gilward partners with it professionals to offer their end users data recovery services and digital forensics find out more at gilward.com if you can click on the sponsor links below take a look at what they have to offer that's highly appreciated it helps me pay the bills so let's take a look inside the box so it's basically a simple box you just pop it open and the first thing that you see is we got a big old book here. So this is good to see. A lot of times when you see these little starter boxes, they'll give you some pamphlet and everything else is on the internet. So it's good to see they've got a nice uh, nice book here. They've got places for you can, to, you can write and to document things. It's all very nice, colorful, easy to read because that's what a 40-year-old like me needs. Uh, so overall, the, the book the book like it looks like it uh, has been really well created and has been designed well for somebody starting out with the Adreno uh, platform. Now going past that, you open up the next thing in here and we see that we have multiple different boxes. So we have a box of electronic components, USB cable, uh, breadboard jumper wires, the actual Arduino itself, DC motor, servo motor, and liquid crystal display. So let's look inside the electronic components. I'll be curious to see what electronic components they give us in here. And so if we open this up, yep, it is in fact a big old bag of electronic components. So it's in an anti-static bag, which, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good for them to do. I don't think I really care if my resistors get a little bit of static on them. Uh, ooh, I dropped something on the floor. Oops. So be careful. Be careful. When you open this bag, I thought it was other smaller bags in there, uh, but you don't want to lose anything. Apparently, oh, yeah, look at that. Like, that fell on the floor. That would have been easy to lose. So if you're going to be giving this to your kids, just be careful when they're opening it up because this is a nut of some kind. No idea what kind of nut it is, but it's there. Uh, so we have a whole package of LEDs. Uh, we have resistors here. Uh, we have some kind of IC chips. Or maybe this is a sound. Is it IC chips and a sound? Okay, so this is this is some kind of sound maker. And these are IC chips in order for you to deal with. Uh, they have capacitors in here. Always, always be... <laughs> Always be careful with your capacitors. This is this is one of the things in electronics that no, no, seriously, capacitors can really screw you up. Uh, they got some wires in here. Okay, so this is for the the nine volt battery. Oh, I do think I have to buy a nine volt battery in order to make this thing work. And so then they have some other stuff in here too. It looks like some other IC chips. So uh, so they got a whole collection of stuff in here um, that I'm sure will make a lot more sense when I start figuring out how to how to do the projects. Oh, look at that. So below the electronic components, there's a little wooden board. I don't really sure what that's for. <laughs> not, not, not actually sure what that's for, but there is, in fact, a wooden board. I'm sure I'll figure out what it's for later. Then past that, we have the breadboard jumper wires. So we just have a box here that uh, should be wires for the breadboard. 
So if we open this up, yep, another another bag o oh bags. Do make sure if you're going to be giving this to your kids, you watch. Oh my golly, you watch them open all this stuff up because there's like a lot of little stuff in here. These little bags of little equipment. Uh, so these are the these are the wires. These are the wires that you'll use to connect to those different electronic components on the breadboard itself. Uh, so one of the reasons. Oh, yep, and this is the breadboard. Uh, so one of the reasons I liked this particular Arduino kit is it appears it does not seem that you have to solder anything. So basically, you can just plug stuff in, then code it to run. You don't have to worry about soldering irons and all that kind of stuff. And I do have to say, even though I can solder, soldering is a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. So especially when you're just beginning, uh, it's nice to have a kit where you don't have to worry about the soldering. Uh, let's see. Then past that, we have the DC motor servo motor. So that's kind of cool. I know with the Arduino, you can get it to run motors. So it's cool that this is actually uh, in the package itself. Uh, so yeah, so we have uh, we have one servo here, uh, and then we have one uh, one motor, one just normal electric motor here. So I'll be curious to see what you can do with those to to kind of get some physical action out of your Arduino project. Then past that, we have the liquid crystal display. So if you want the Arduino to actually have a display on it, tell you what's going on, that would be a nice thing. In this modern world, it seems like uh, everybody who creates projects always wants the, the projects to be done through some kind of web display, basically using a web browser to go to an IP address and see things. Sometimes it's nice to just be able to look at your project and see what's going on. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So that's just a nice little uh, LCD display here. Uh, got the little connectors. Where are the? Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, those are long. Got those nice little connectors in back. Uh, so this will be good for your projects to be able to tell you uh, whatever information you want out of them. Now beyond that, we have the actual Arduino Uno that came in this particular kit. Uh, if we open this thing up, this is smaller than I was expecting. Honestly, this is smaller than I was expecting. So if we open this little thing up. Uh, basically, this is what you get. So you get this nice little Arduino Uno board. Uh, it has the USB connector there, so you can connect to it. It's got the little power connector there. It's got all the, the, the everything else you need. So that's the board itself. To give you an idea of the size of one of these boards, uh, so this is my iPhone SE, and so this is the size of the Arduino board. This is why Arduino boards are very good if you want to start building your own IoT projects, because they really are that small. I mean, if you look at this thing, it's probably about four inches by about three and a half inches. Uh, so you could you could design, you could build something based off of this and put it in a nice, very small form factor. Now, beyond that, of course, we got the USB cables in here. So this is the USB cables. We open it up. Yep. In fact, we have the USB cable. Woo! Uh, so this is what you should use to connect the uh, the Arduino board to your computer so that you can futz with the code and be able to upload it so the Arduino board can do whatever it is you tell it to do. Then past that, at the bottom of the board, I don't know, there's some weird papery things. <laughs> I'm sure this will make sense. I'm sure this will make sense once I read the book. There's uh, that thing. Uh, what does it say? It says warning. <laughs> it says warning. I don't know what that is. Uh, there's a launch button thing, whatever that is. There is a, uh, I don't, I don't even know what that is. There's a that of whatever that is. And then there's something that looks like it has very happy LEDs on it. But again, I also have no idea what that is. Now, overall, taking a look at this particular kit, as long as it does stuff, as long as it does stuff, I think you get a good selection of products for about that $85 price point. Obviously, you get the Arduino board, which is you absolutely need this to do anything. But then other than that, you get some of these other cool uh, pieces of functionality. So you get the nice little screen so that it can uh, tell, give you outputs. It can give you that kind of information. It has the motors. Oops, where did I put the motors? It has the motors so that you can have things things like physically happen. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and then it's got the, uh, the breadboard and all of these pretty simple electronic components so that you can build some nifty neat stuff. Uh, so overall, um, I think like this looks like a pretty good Arduino project. Just in case you're wondering, if you're saying how do you power this, the other cool part with the Arduino is as far as I understand, as far as I understand, you'll actually be able to power it with a 9-volt battery, uh, but that's something... <laughs> We'll find that out once I, once I start digging into the kit a little bit later. 
So now you might be wondering, you're sitting there and you're thinking, you are Eli the computer guy. Why did you buy an Arduino starter kit? Why didn't you just go out there and buy all the individual components and then figure out what it is you want to build? Well, the thing is, I don't have a lot of experience with Arduino. I know a lot of people that have built Arduino things. I get the concept when it comes to Arduino, uh, but I've never been that interested in it before. Now I want to start doing some videos on Arduino in order to be able to explain things to you. And so what I always like to do is I always like to go out and buy things like starter kits because this gives you everything that you need from the get-go. One of the problems you run into when you're a new person in any kind of niche in technology is so many times you don't know what you need. So you go out and you buy an Arduino board, Oh, but then you need to buy a power supply. Oh, but then you need to buy this, and then you need to buy that. Then you, and you start spending all of this time simply trying to figure out what parts you need versus actually building projects so that you grasp what the platform can do for you. And so going into the future, you can start designing the stuff that you want. This is one thing I talk about back in the old days of IT. I used to love dummies books. Everybody always laughed at me about dummies books. Oh, look at you, Eli. You have 30 dummies books. But dummies books was very good. I can spend $20, buy a dummies book, read a dummies book in about five hours, and then be up to at least a limited speed in that technology. I still didn't know everything, but at least I knew I knew verbiage. I knew grammar. I knew the basic concepts that I was supposed to understand in that technology. And then I could research things later uh, in order to find, uh, figure out what I actually needed to do. Why I like buying a starter kit like this for the Arduino is it has everything that I need to go in. It has 15 prepackaged projects. I can just run through those projects. I can get an idea of how the Arduino IDE works. I can get an idea of how the electronic works. I, understand, I get an idea of the basic programming language. And then once I have that, then I can go out and start designing the cooler stuff uh, that, that I want to, uh, to, to, to build. I also did go over, uh, and I actually bought this at Micro Center. So Micro Center is a great place for, for computers and technology equipment. Uh, they're here in the Baltimore area and all around the East Coast. I did go there to buy this instead of off of Amazon or such, because again, being a new person, to the Arduino, I wanted to go and see what selection of products they had. So you get to go there to Micro Center. They've got 10 different kits. So you can go and you can take a look at other different kits and you can take a look at the different products and you can go, hmm, that's, I think that's the one that I want. So that's the unboxing of the Arduino starter kit. If you're interested, again, Micro Center has it for about $85, or I'm sure that you can buy it off of Amazon or, uh, or whatever else. Uh, as always, I'm Eli the Computer Guy, and I enjoyed taping this video.